consider these algebraic expressions that we are given on question number nine. Write an expression for the distance from A to B in terms of X and simplify. Okay, so this is our mathematics for grade nine, uh, grade eight that we're gonna consider, which is on our algebraic expressions. As we know that in this term, we are going to be asked questions also on algebraic expressions. So that was the three mark question, uh, which they need you to uh, write an expression, take note, we need the distance. And this distance is from A to B, from A to B. So as we move from A to B, it's gonna be from A to C, from C to D, from D to E, from E to B like that. So how can you find that distance? You have to combine to add everything that you're given. The first part from A to C, what are we given from A to C? You add that. So this is three X plus, 20 like this, we add to this one from C to D. So we're going to add from C to D, that's 10 minus 2X. Then we add from D to E as it is plus, that is 4X plus 18 as it is. Then from E to B as it is, this is plus, we are adding five into the bracket, there's a bracket there. So into seven minus X. So that's it. So this is the distance that you take from A to B, everything is considered. So the question was just supposed to be given, we were supposed to just give you a question like this, simplify. That is what we are supposed to be given. But now you see how they test you. So there, there are brackets. You have to expand your brackets. Remember the idea of the bracket. What is outside of the bracket is plus five. So plus five, yes to multiply everything inside of this bracket. So this whole part is gonna remain as it is, 3X plus 20 plus 10 minus 2X plus 4X plus 18. It's just gonna remain uh, this part as it is. Okay, we're gonna collect our like terms after that. So let's multiply five times seven it's plus five times seven. That is going to be 35. There's a plus five here and a minus X. So plus and minus, that's a minus. So it's gonna be minus five X. So this is it guys. You have to consider now the issue or the idea of the like terms. Remember I talked about the like terms that uh, you consider the part of X. There is a three X here. Uh, we have minus two X here. You have got plus four X, all right? And minus five X. So on this part, not to be mistaken, just use your calculator, just combine everything on your calculator so that you do not mistaken these. So just take this three, first one, that is three, minus two here. So that is a minus two there. So it's three minus a two plus four. So that's plus four, all right? Then we have got minus five, minus five like this. So that's a zero there. Meaning to say in terms of X, this will give us a zero. At the end, we are going to obtain a zero X. So that's zero X there. You add the numbers, all right? You are left with the numbers only that's 20 plus 10. This one, 20 plus 10 plus 18 plus 35. So you're gonna add uh, plus 18 plus 25 like this. So this was going to give us uh, 73, all right, there's something that I left. This is 35, not 25, but 35. Okay, this is 35 like this. So that is 83 at the end. So you're going to obtain plus 83. But remember guys, zero X is same as what? Zero X is same as, there's nothing there. There's nothing, there's zero, there's nothing. So it is just going to be 83. So it's nothing plus 83. If there is nothing, then we add 83. What are you going to have? We are going to have that 83, okay? That is the idea there. Question number nine, it was supposed to be attempted like this way. You expand your brackets. That was the most important part. After that, you consider the idea of your like terms. 
All right, then question 10, we are given if X is the largest of three consecutive natural numbers. So consecutive, that's following each other. Remember counting number, uh, uh, consecutive, I mean, the natural numbers we're talking about, the counting numbers, excluding zero. Zero is not co counted there. So these counting numbers, we count like one, two, three, and so these are consecutive. So if you are to going to, to, to count these consecutively, we're going to start with one, two, three. So they are saying, if X is the largest of three consecutive natural numbers, what are the other two numbers in terms of X? Okay, let's say this is our, this is the biggest number, this one, which is three. What is, how are you going to write this number here, which is two, which is the, the number before? Because they are saying the largest, from the largest, this one is the biggest. How can we write it three? We can see that between natural numbers, there's a difference of one. Between every natural number, two minus one, there's a difference of one. Three minus two, there's a difference of one. So natural numbers, they actually form a numeric pattern. They actually form a numeric pattern with a difference of one. So to move from one number to another, I just have to add one. If I'm given one, two, three. If I want to find the next term, I add one. Three plus one, that is a four. I add one, four plus one, that is a five. So it is now the reverse because we are, we are, we are told that X is the largest. Just take a consideration or just take an example of what we have here. If three is the largest number that we see, how can we find these two, the number that is before three? We just have to subtract three minus one. It gives us what? A two. How can we find the next one there, which is one? It's simply three minus two. Three minus two is equal to what? One. So this is what they are saying. The biggest prime number, the biggest uh, or the largest natural number that we, we have, it's X. So let's say this three here is now just written as X. How can we write these two in terms of X now? If we manage to write this as three minus one to give us two, it means X minus one. We're just gonna write as X minus one in terms of X. So we are saying, let three be equal to X, which is the what? Which is the largest, uh, which is the largest what? The largest natural number. Of these three, there are three consecutive. So we know we start with what? With one, one, two, three. So if that largest number becomes X, it means these two, we're going to find it by what? X minus one. So meaning to say the numbers that are there it is going to be X minus one, which is representing something like two. What about this one? How can you represent? Three is represented with X. So meaning to say that was going to be X minus two, just like that. Just like that. So they, they can test these questions. So the question uh, is that if X is the largest of these three, it means we are going to have this three, Two, one. So instead of us having this as three, two, one, we are going to have this now as X, X minus one, X minus two. But as we are not going to talk about this X because the question needs us to write the other two numbers. The other one is already X. So the other two numbers are these ones now in terms of X. So the other one is going to be X minus one. The other one is going to be X minus two. That's how you can answer this question.